Welcome to Totem Pole Sports. I know it's a shocking outfit, ladies and gentlemen, but you're talking about GOAT James. You're talking about, you know, the greatest player in this era. I still think that Michael Jordan is the GOAT. I still think that Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. M2K, welcome into the building for Totem Pole Sports. Yet again, I am by myself carrying this show, uh, putting that work while everybody else uh, slacks off or lacks non-communication and other things that happen before this. Um, but Total Pole Sports is the one and only thing that has happened in the University of America. Coach Taylor, please get that, that, that ugly design of the house off the damn camera. Nobody wants to see that cup and, 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 what, you, and, and what you're eating because nobody cares. We want to look at Coach Taylor's face and we want to uh, ask him how Coach Taylor Day is uh, once his old ass gets up and, you know. Uh, I'm up, man. You got see? that thing. How are you, Coach Taylor? Why are you, why are you taking a nap at 7 o'clock at night? I was watching Hoarders. He was watching. He was watching what? Watching Hoarders. Hand me that thing, yeah. baby. Quarters. Yeah, hoarders. Hoarders. Oh. Yeah, it's where people hoard stuff. So Chris Pod. Uh, I guess Coach Taylor's eating healthy, but I don't know if he's lost. I'm not weight. eating healthy, man. I'm eating catfish. Fried catfish, oh. man. Fried catfish. Okay, well, you have somebody that can uh cook for you. Uh but Coach Taylor, today is the NBA in season tournament. But we got the Pelicans and the Lakers right now. Coach Taylor M2K says he's eating fried catfish. There you go. Fried catfish and fries, and probably is drinking a diet coke and not drinking enough water. Yeah, I need to drink more water in my life. He does. That's why his stomach looks nah. big. As shit. He don't drink no goddamn. No, nah, I've lost weight, man. I look good. You look good. I, I look, you look good. The same man. You did Feel two good. Years look ago. good. Huh? You look the same. You look the same you did two years ago. You look the same. Hey, there's the man oh, from Seoul. The man from Seoul. The man the from man Seoul. From Seoul. I, I, I'm his replacement. He's not here this evening. He had an appointment. Uh, no, you, no, no, you on the screen right now. You on the screen right now. The man from Seoul. How? That's my brother. That's my guys. That's my brother. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that at Total Pole Nation Day. We're not gonna do that to the public. But I know you, you got your bald head, and, and you know, I got the, the OGs in here, the old heads. Uh, how was your day, uh, Paul? How was your day? How do you feel? We got the NBA in season tournament right now, as you see this beautiful, what? you know, Lakers design. Well, I'll yeah. start, I'll start it off by saying, what a great day in America. Wow. Mm. What a great day. What uh, happened? A lot. A lot. Fill me in, man, because I haven't been paying attention. I have my own totem pole sports nation. <laughs> I had a lot going on, man. It's a lot, oh, man. Did? A lot. A lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta I, I I'm all over I'm all over deck, man. I've been on the phone all afternoon talking to a lot of people. Oh, All right. Well, well, well. Why, 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 why he didn't set up? I had to, um, I had to plug back in. I was about to run out of battery. But yeah, it's what a day in America, you know. And all I will say is, I I I, I envy guys like Troy, Jimbo, Fisher, Taylor. What a guy! I can't even fathom working in your arena. For like three, six, one year, I can't do it. I couldn't do it, dude. Dude, your one year in your in your on your journey it was harder than twenty seven years on my journey. What a now this is easy. No, dude, <laughs> no, no. dude, dude, give easy. yourself more credit than that, bro. It no, is. I don't deserve no credit. Dude, that you talking about? You talking about spin Lambo, cycle? Lambo lived lived a year in my life or one season. He thought dude, it was it, normal. I, dude, I, I can't even. I don't. I look. 
I, I really feel sorry for you. I really feel sorry for you. I really, I, I apologize for all the stuff you had to put up with. If there's anything I can do to help your mental state of the things you went through, hey, I'm here for you, man. I'm good. Because I'm I telling loved, you, I loved every minute of it, man. Oh my goodness, I loved, man! I loved every minute of it. It's it's it's, it's, it's tough sledding. Hey, that's what I signed up for, man. Wow, dude, you you deserve the Nobel Peace Prize, man. I'm the low man on the totem pole. No, you, you, you may, you might be, but give yourself. Just do me a favor. Give yourself a little bit more credit than you do for what you do for America, please. Because yeah. it ain't easy. Well, I, well, the man from Seoul. I, I would say this to uh, top what you say. Co Coach Taylor uh, is one of you know one of the greatest people to ever be around. But people just hate the man <laughs> for no reason because see. <laughs> They the problem is they don't want to hear the truth, and Coach Taylor's going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. See, all these other coaches they want to sit, they want to lie to you, they want to tell you how good you feel. See, Coach Taylor gonna tell you, uh, it's gonna tell you the truth. You're gonna get into your raw. If you suck, if you're good, how to get better, how all these colleges are screwing you just for your money. They don't care about the player, right? They just they just care about grabbing yes. the roster spot. So at the end of the yes. day, Coach Taylor is what's best for business when it comes to football because without a Coach Taylor, I don't think there'll be other coaches involved. There wouldn't be myself involved on how I sat around with him for a year and the man from Seoul, is, it is not normal. All the drama, <laughs> all the stuff you got to deal with, and you got to deal with the big mouth AD every goddamn morning. I mean, Lord of mercy. But I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Football knowledge – and not even X and O's, but just fundamentals and basics made me a smarter man today. Made me a very smarter man today. Dedication on how to watch film. And I'm not even going to expose that because you're still in your coaching prime and you're not Bill Belichick, so you're not fully retired. But yeah. we can have this story uh, next time. But we got to talk okay. about Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, right? They're selling another playoff run. If they beat the Miami Heat, if they – uh, win the elimination game on Friday. They're set to go in the playoffs this weekend. Uh, man from Seoul, I'm going to start from you. How do you feel about the 76ers? Joel Embiid did tweak his left knee again. Uh, he sat out the finale. How do you feel about Joel Embiid and the 76ers? Where do you see them? Even, where do you place them? Not even thinking about them. And you all, <clears throat> um, you, you, your, your little soliloquy all but put them in the playoffs. Dude, let's talk not that. <laughs> Dude, let's not talk about the thing. Let's not talk about the 76ers. Come on, man. Like you're reaching for straws here. At least dude ain't played in a month. Move it up. Keep it moving. Next slide. <laughs> you find yourself mentally exhausted. Change your environment. Unclutter your desk. Take a shower. Go for a walk. Refresh your mental state. MK, you must be reading my mind. Well, how about the you and orders? Me? I'm how watching the, hoarders. How about the USA basketball roster spot? How do you feel Kawhi Leonard fills the final spot? They got a they got a, a fully rostered team. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. Does USA basketball take the title home this summer? Do they take it home? They got a roster. They have no excuses. Look, I'm going to play the devil's advocate here. I hope they don't. You know why? Because it took them long enough to join forces and play, actually, as the top players in America. Next slide. I'm done with them. I'm done with these prima donna people. Now they got to act like they're saving the day, and they want to be superheroes because we came to rescue you. We're going to get the gold. I hope they don't even make the, the medal round. Keep it going. <laughs> I like your energy today. I like your energy. I'm tired you know, of talking about people who don't matter. That don't that they, they they don't matter, dude. Their names, as I've learned from Mister Jimbo Fisher, just names. They ain't doing. What are they doing, man? They ain't done what are they nothing. doing? They haven't done anything. So y'all just not gonna watch the, the the Olympics. You're not gonna watch it. Don't care. Nope, I'm not. Because they want. They want. They want. Then they'll start talking about that they're. That they that they could beat the dream team and they'll start comparing themselves to that's what they're gonna do, man. Cause that's that's your 
that's that's Lebronto. He he just Ooh, tries to control Lebronto. the narrative twenty four seven. It's all about him. Yeah, the whole league. All right, you know, but, you... but he's using PEDs. I mean, he's uh oh, he's Uh-oh. obviously using PEDs. Barry Bonds didn't need PEDs. LeBron doesn't need PEDs, but he's decided. That he's gonna, you know, break Kareem Abdul Jabbar's record, and LeBron, you didn't need to do that, man. But now Kawhi Leonard. All right, how do you feel about Kawhi Leonard? The set, the match is already set in the West: the Clippers versus the Mavericks. Uh, he's been injured. We know they got the roster: James Harden, Russell Westbrook. Who wins the series, the Mavericks or the Clippers? I got the Mavericks in seven. I got the Mavericks winning it all. Kyrie and Luka are going to get a ring. Mark Cuban Mark Cuban is going to get another ring. He sold half the team. He's going to be rewarded. Luka's going to get a ring. Luka's going to be the new face of the NBA. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, that, that, that's not far-fetched because I got Luka and them in the – in the Western Conference Finals, meaning they're in the Final Four of the NBA. Uh, uh, they, the they, fix they, is in, man. The fix is in. Yeah, like the fix is in tonight. Lakers and, and, and the Warriors will win tonight. Yes, because that's what they'll get for ratings. Yes. That's what they want. They want to see Steph Curry and LeBron they, they, James. They have to be in the playoffs. They have to be. They have to be. Come on up here. Tony. Even if they're struggling and they didn't have the season they had, they, they cannot. And they, you know what they can't do at this point in the juncture? Because the M, the WNBA is about to blow up. It's about to blow up. Like Yes. Oh, my goodness. What about the draft? It was awesome. Lambo. What did you think about Caitlin the WNBA Clark, Clark. draft? It was it was it was great. It was great talent from uh, picks one through fifteen. I mean, Angel Reese and all uh, the girl from South Carolina, Cardosa, they were on the same team. Kaylin Clark uh, and Kate Martin, I think they're on the same team as well. So I mean, who? Well, yeah, they, they, oh, oh, Kaitlyn Clark got the center from South Carolina last year. She's on the Fever. She was the number one pick last year. Yep. Yep. But 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 you got the you got the Las Vegas Aces. You got talent spread across the league. And the WNBA is about to blow up. Blow up. They want that money. The NBA wants that money. Don't the NBA own the WNBA? Yes. Uh, something so. like that. <clears throat> something like that. I think I think I think that we have to look that up. We'll get back to you later. But however, comma. They can't be outshining the NBA. That that's not what the NBA is signing up for. But the WNBA is about to blow up. And again, if if the WA after that draft and and they start next next month, and LeBron loses tonight, and the Warriors lose tonight, and they're not even in the the playoffs, dude. You that that's not that's not a good look. Not a good look. I, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Um, I'm not sold on the Clippers because every time they always have talent, they don't know how to use the talent. James Harden is a playoff choker. James Harden is a playoff. Look what he did in Philly last year. Philly up 3-2 mm-hmm. and still lost the series to Boston. They still lost. Playoff choker in the fourth quarter. Um, Ty Lu, great coach. But why do we call Paul George playoff P? What has Paul George done in the playoffs as lately? Not, not nothing. Russell Westbrook has actually carried that team. Despite the injuries they had last year against the Suns, Russell Westbrook carried that team in order for the Clippers to be competitive in that series against the Suns. But this right here is Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving's time. Now, they're not going to the damn finals. I don't. I still don't think they're, they're going to beat the Denver Nuggets. I, I don't see that happening. I think the, the Denver, Denver Nuggets, Nuggets don't make money. Nobody watches the Denver Nuggets. Nobody cares about the Joker. All right? The Joker don't put people in the seats. The Joker doesn't get people watching the games. Really? 
You're talking about Whoa, two, he's like, like the big three. fundamental. You're talking he's about like, back to back MVP. He don't put people on seats. No, no. But, and I will, I will, I will, I will somewhat, I will concur, somewhat concur with that statement because you know, like Milwaukee, they'll give them their token championship, like the Nuggets, but they don't want the Nuggets ripping off five, and that's not a flagship. They're, that's not the, the NBA. Don't want it's them like to the be Spurs. their flagship. Nobody cares about the Spurs. They're not. The Spurs exciting. suck for the last six. You can't compare that because the Spurs suck for the last six years. They I'm talking about the when the Spurs were good. I'm talking about when the Spurs were good. Yeah, that and wasn't a good look for the league. Boston and the Lakers. That's what everybody wants to see. The, this that the Boston has a better chance of going to the finals than the Lakers. That's well, the Le LeBron's already got his championship this year. He's got his fifth ring. That that, that no. Adam I, Silver that, said that, that don't count. Ring. Kobe Bryant would not approve of that. You don't understand it. That disrespected Kobe Bryant and Magic Johnson. They do not approve of it. In they put a banner a, up. An AAU tournament. An AAU tournament counts. Is that LeBron got his fifth ring? No, that's, that's exactly not a what Adam that's a full Silver ring. said. He tied Kobe. Dude. He's one away from Jordan. In the middle of the season? The, when the season barely starts? Yes. The end oh, wow. season tournament. Know. That's a championship. Wow. They put a wow. banner up. Paul, wow. did, they, did they not put a banner up? They You're did. wearing I saw it. jersey. That'll I saw count. it. That don't count. Like, the, that'll they count. had a, there, There's a banner hanging in Crypto.com Arena. It has to count for something. <sighs> See, Adam, this is a soft that. gender... This is a soft generation we live in. We 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 count uh in season tournament champions like in 20 games into the season. <laughs> 20 games into the season. But I bet you if it was any other team, you would you wouldn't count that either if it was any other team winning that. Where's the same energy for the other teams that win that? Just watch next year. Just watch next year. If we we could go back and talk about the same, same thing. Right? We're gonna talk about the same thing. Let's say the Lakers don't win it, somebody else win it. Oh, they, they, their championship rank don't count. This, this is way cheap, but but um, the Bucks, Giannis Lillard, they're injured. Um, they may look that the Doc Rivers with the Bucks, uh, it, it it's it doesn't feel right to me. Uh, when they they fired uh, Adrian Griffin after uh, forty three well, games this season, uh, what do you expect from the Bucks? I don't expect anything. I think the biggest look, threat to the Boston. Bucks the Bucks are a they're they got their token championship. Giannis is still a a a, a star in the league yes. that they will promote, but they do not want the Milwaukee Bucks in the finals. The league does not want that. They don't. They would rather see the Knicks in the finals or the Heat in the finals than the Bucks. The Bucks got their championship. They moved past them. Giannis is still their their guy, but as far as a team, they don't want to see them anywhere near uh, TV prime time NBA Finals stuff. No, no, they had to do it once tokenly, and that's why I'm kind of you know I lean in with Troy. Hey, the the Nuggets won it last year. Do they want back to back champion Denver Nuggets as the NBA's flagship? No, that's not what they want. This league, this, this league is built around star players and star teams. Yes, I'm done. Is stop thinking. Dead? Stop think. Stop thinking. It's not WWE. It is. They just wear basketball uniforms. The fix is in. Is the king dead when they get beat tonight? Goat talk goes to the grave with him. Is he the goat? No, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Amen. That's not what Scotty no, no, Pippen. No. That's not what Scotty Pippen and Scotty Pippen's ex-wife says. Well, I well, he he's he's hating on MJ because whatever beat Scotty they Pippen have, said he made Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan be before Scotty Pippen. Now he never won a championship say, without no, 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 Pippen. No, no, no. You can say that about championships, but I'm not saying he made Michael Jordan. You can say championships. They started winning when he got there, when they had Phil Jackson, the correct coach. Yeah, they started winning. He didn't, he didn't make them. Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. He just didn't win championships. Same thing with LeBron. LeBron didn't win a championship for the first 12 years. 
Wow. So what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? I'm just, I'm just telling you what Scottie Pippen said. Scottie Pippen said well, that Michael Jordan would have been a bum without him playing. That's that's cap. That that that's just that's just nonsense. That's just nonsense. He's just a hater. He's just a hater. Michael Jordan is the greatest player to ever touch a basketball. That is not debatable. Stop comparing the Michael Jordans and LeBrons. They played in two that's different not what eras said. of basketball. LeBron said he's the goat. They played in two different eras of basketball. You can't. I don't care no what era they era. played in. It, LeBron played in any era with Michael Jordan. He ain't even close. Next slide. I'll tell you this about the Bucks, Bucks and the Indiana Pacers. I'm gonna go for the upset. I'm going for the Indiana Pacers to beat the Bucks. Tyrese Halliburton. Give me that young Indiana roster. They're a threat. I think in the East, they're a threat to the Boston Celtics. Now you may could say the Miami Heat, maybe you could say the New York Knicks, but the Knicks without Julius Randle, no. Miami Heat, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Butler, playoff Jimmy, Tyler Hero. But that's if Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, and Kevin Love, and everybody else in that Heat roster stay healthy, but they've been hurt all damn year. Uh, that's if they stay healthy in the playoffs. I'm going to go for the upset here. I think Damon Lillard is unhappy as a buck. I think if they get knocked out in the first round, he's going to be asking to go somewhere else. Go ahead. The man from Seoul, go ahead. Okay, um, hold on. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Last year, the finals was who? The Nuggets, the Nuggets, and the Miami Heat. And the ratings were what? Mm. Good. No, they weren't. So, you mean to tell me? I mean, I hear the, the Pacers are a threat. The, the, it's going to be Boston this year. The NBA has no choice. If you have if you have a couple bucks in your piggy bank, go on ESPN bet and just put it on the Boston Celtics to be in the finals. Boston and Kyrie. No, Kyrie said not that Boston is the most racist town in the NBA. I can see Kyrie and Luca going in to the Ooh. Boston Garden. That's gonna be the storyline. They need, they need, they don't, they don't, they do it. The Nuggets don't push the needle. They, they, they got it's their the token Dallas ones. The they got their parade. They cannot, they got to find a way to get the Nuggets out of there. But they got to have Boston in there. You look at all the teams in the East. Boston's going to make the finals. So yeah. we can say people are a threat. We can call playoff Jimmy. Not this year. The NBA's got to make their money back because they lost a lot last year. Well, They're going to create this matchup. The Celtics are my team, so I'm not even I'm not even debating against that. I'm well, they'll be in the finals because they're they, they're not letting any of there's there's not enough star power on the other teams. Like, I, no, we can't have a we can't have a NBA finals that has less viewer ratings than the women's national championship basketball. They're going to be that would crush them. And and the and the, the NCAA finals again was awesome, and the, and they deserved it. And the M, the WNBA is going to blow up because they're taking the stage. The, but the NBA is in need of a fix, just like Major League Baseball. Like the interest is waning because it's so stale. It's stale. I'm all looking right. forward to the WNBA season. I can't wait to see Caitlin Clark and all the new girls in their different locations. It's going to be fun. I agree. I agree. Next Deshaun thing. Watson. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun uh, Watson throwing after shoulder surgery. How do you feel about the Browns this season? Now, we already know you think the Jets are going to make the AFC Championship game, which I think Absolutely. That's, completely, that's completely bogus. Absolutely. Completely bogus. You're going to lose $100. 100, you, uh, uh, 100 more dollars. You're going to lose more. They, they're going to be in the AFC Championship game, the New York Football Jets. So how do you feel about the Browns? Are the Browns going to be competitive in a tough AFC North? The Browns will finish ahead of the Steelers. Next slide. 
The Browns lost Callahan and Scott Peters, the line coaches. And they're going to take a hit. The top dogs in the AFC North are going to be the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Those will be the top two teams in the AFC North. Now, despite the Cleveland Browns making the playoffs with four quarterbacks last year, or five, excuse me, I think the Cleveland Browns, I think if Deshaun Watson is fully healthy, fully healthy back to himself, not saying back to his 2018, 2019 self, but if he could be at least halfway decent, I think the Cleveland Browns are going to make the playoffs. There's going to be three teams in the AFC North that will make the playoffs, which will be the Browns, the Bengals, and the Ravens. The Steelers will miss the playoffs. But, like I said, your, your New York Jets are not going whoa, to Oh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out. Time out. So you say, okay, so I agree with you there, okay? So, 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 so there's four divisions, right? Yes. AFC North, so, AFC East, AFC South, AFC East. Okay, so who's going to win the AFC East? Give me the Buffalo Bills. Who's who's <laughs> what are you laughing for? You ain't gonna be laughing if you give me that hundred dollars, you're gonna be laughing in. <laughs> the Jets ain't done nothing in 13 years. You can laugh all you want. You know what? 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 You, know what? you remind me of Stephen A. Smith. You Ooh. just like to throw stuff on the wall and hope to God it sticks. Oh, man. You, you know what? That's a and the blur. last time I checked, you know, before my dad died, you know what he told me? Hope, what? faith, and might are never a method. Well, I'm always hope, right when it comes faith to Dallas Cowboys. Night. What? I had that with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm always right. Yeah, we're not talking about them, though. We're talking about the Buffalo Bills winning the, well, the M- Buffalo- AFC East. The Buffalo Bowl, you asked me a question, I gave you an answer. So next question. Can we up to Andy to five hundred dollars? <laughs> you're not gonna you you're gonna you gonna you're gonna regret five hundred. You might want to just keep it at a hundred right now because you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret okay. You gonna AFC regret South. Woo! Okay, that could be between the Texans and the Jaguars. I'll okay. Take, uh, I'll, take, I'll take the. Colt, I'll take. I'll take the Jaguars. Colts will Jaguars. be sneaky. Look out. Colts will be sneaky. I agree, but I take Jacksonville. And again, and again, before you before you make a really solid call, I would challenge you to look at the Houston Texans schedule because I know what they did last year. But man, well, I say Jacksonville. Tough. Jacksonville. Yeah, Houston Texans schedule is a murderer's row. It's tough. Tough. AFC North, I got the Baltimore Ravens. AFC West. Oh, I'm missing that too. AFC West, I got the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Chiefs are going to play who in the AFC Championship game? Uh, They'll probably play the Cincinnati Bengals. You talking about TV ratings? That's TV ratings. Patrick Mahomes and Joe Burrow. That's TV ratings. You talking about so, TV so, ratings? So Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes. Not no TV ratings there. There is, but I the think Jets, Ma- the, I don't think Mahomes is gonna make it, man. I think it's gonna Jets be Aaron Rodgers. The Jets, not, the, the Jets Burrow, might not make Burrow. the playoffs. The Jets might not make the playoffs. You look at the Jets schedule. You look at the Jets schedule. I look at the Jets' the offense so and defense. I don't care about the schedule. So and how I, are you I, talking about the Texas schedule? Look at because I've schedule. seen it. It's tough. It's tough. Look, the Jets. The Jets. The Jets played in a division where they're better than all three teams on paper. See, they are. Look, you said on paper. I'm talking about on the field, not on paper. They haven't played. They haven't got on the field yet. But no one. They not, last year they did not have Aaron Rodgers, and that defense still played defense, and they. They've added to that defense, Hassan Reddick. They've added to that offense, Williams. 
Okay. Hello. Ding a ling a ling. They need to add a quarterback besides injury. Hey, I, I got to go, I got to go. I, I love you, man. I see y'all. I got to go. quick. Close Taylor quick on the show. But they, but they got to get somebody else besides just Tyrod Taylor. Injury prone Tyrod Taylor. No, he's not injury prone, man. He steps in wherever he's needed. Dude, you're not going to need him anyway. Rodgers is going to go the distance. Next and then, so you're already count. So you're you, you're not you're being a hater, and I you know if you're gonna be I'm a hater hate. and not a realist, you're being a hater because if Rodgers goes the distance and plays every game, where are the Jets in the AFC East? The Jets will be second in the AFC East at ten and seven. That's respectable. Ten and seven who, is respectable for the Jets. Okay, so who who is who is uh, Josh Allen throwing the ball to? They will figure that out. Oh my God! So it's a look, look, man, look. They will figure so it out. So we can't sit up. We can't sit up here when the Jets have a formidable defense, uh, a Hall of Fame quarterback, two serviceable, above serviceable receivers, and a serviceable running back. And you can't sit up here and say they'll figure it out against the Jets. That's disrespectful. No, it's not. They'll figure it out because we hadn't seen it on the field. Yet. They'll figure it out. We still got free agency on the way. We still they can still sign people. Free agency's like, over tomorrow. They can still sign players. Is my point. They can still sign people. They can still but you're sign not going to get the guys that make differences are already off the off the street. The Buffalo <laughs> Bills and they lost players on defense, dude. No. You 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 just uh, you're just, yeah, I know now you're just a Jets hater because you you're just like well on paper the Bills are better than the Jets today okay got it you're you that's hate that's that's called haterville if you think that you don't watch NFL football no I do I, at I, all I, I predict the future and I'm always right about the future of the NFL and then when your team loses you're gonna be you're gonna be uh oh, uh oh, oh. I'm not gonna be oh uh, nothing I'll say oh you're right because this one this one's kind of a softball. All right, next topic. Kellen DeBoer. And again, I mean, who's their head coach? Sean McDermott. What has he done? Buffalo Bills have made the AFC Championship game, I think. The Bu he's done he's done more for the Buffalo Bills than he did for the last 20 plus years. One time. Okay, that's more than what Buffalo's did their whole entire career before Mark Levy. If, before if, they went to four straight Super Bowls. They had if done the nothing Jets go to the AFC Championship game. They've been to more AFC championships in the last 20 years than the Buffalo Bills if they go this year. So, got it. Mark Sanchez went to the AFC championship game with the Jets in the last 20 years. Of and everyone wants to write off the Jets. But and everyone, wants, everyone wants to write off Aaron Rodgers. Like, you, how, how, how dare you, dude? Yeah, it's like you, have, you, just, you just landed on the planet and didn't even see him play at Green Bay. Last two years in Green Bay, he played like dog shit. But uh, do you know what he's capable of? I know what he's capable of. But I have to see it. He's coming back from the Achilles injury, so is Kirk Cousins. Not comparing him, but it's hard to come back from the Achilles injury. They're not the same player. That's just facts. Does he still have arm talent? Or does he throw with his, his Achilles? It's called footwork, so you got to drop back and throw the ball. <laughs> it's called footwork. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but have you seen a, a, a Hall of Famer? Like he's got to wake he's up. Gotta move. He's got to move from the pocket. He's got to show the case, sit there, and take hits. Well, I mean, he's going to be fully healed. He's going to be able to move out of the pocket. But who, 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 who on who on the earth has more arm talent than Aaron Rodgers? Patrick Mahomes. I just said it, Patrick Mahomes. Okay, so Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, AFC Championship game. Since you only got one guy. Next, next, next topic. Kalen DeBoer in Alabama. New era. The new era of Alabama. I think Alabama is still going to be the same. I'm not, and I'm talking about as far as a structure. Now, defensively, since Kalen DeBoer is the offensive guy, I don't think the defense is going to be the same because Nick Saban preached the defense. And their defense has always been top 10, top 5. And, and, and all of college football. 
I think their defense might slack just a little bit. Um, I think Alabama may may get to about maybe ten wins, uh, maybe nine. We'll have to see how this goes. It's not Nick Saban. Um, how do you feel about Alabama? I think Alabama makes the uh, college football playoff because you know there's a 12 team college playoff this year, and then next year they're trying to propose a 14. I think I, I think Alabama. I think Alabama will be solid. I, I just think they hit a home run. They got lucky, and they got. I think they got very fortunate. It grabbed the right guy at the right time. You know, a guy that again, the is a great coach, but he's not a guy that's looking for fanfare or trying to be the face of a franchise. He just wants to coach. And if you look at his track record, Division three, Division two, University of Washington, the guy's like one thirteen and twelve. That's a like you. I don't care what levels. Like you, at all coaching levels in his career, he's like one thirteen and twelve. Alabama fans that are are not are aren't feeling good. Just pump your brakes for a second. Give the guy a chance. I the, the guy's a winner, and he 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 doesn't he doesn't need all the fanfare. He just likes to coach. He just likes to call the game, play the game, and you know when he's got good players like he did at Washington, we see what he's capable of. So just uh, those who are just skeptical, eh, reserve yourself for just a second. I think you got a good one. I think Alabama be okay with the twelve team college football playoff. There's going to be uh, a lot of teams up there with twelve teams, so we don't have to complain about you know four teams, people getting stubbed out and stuff like that. Last thing before we end this, uh, Steve Sarkeesian and the and the Texans Longhorns. He got a contract extension. He's going to make about ten and a half million dollars. Now you got Texas going into the SEC, and they play a tough schedule. Tough, tough schedule in the SEC, boy. This ain't the Big 12, right? They were 12 and 1. They were about one play away, one game away from the national championship game. How do you feel about Texas playing in the SEC? Because they played Florida. They played Texas AL. They saw off the first game of the season against Colorado State. They played Arkansas. They played Georgia. <laughs> How do you feel about Texas? Um, I'm not in on Texas or Alabama. Oklahoma, and I will tell you why. Uh, I, 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 you know, and, I, and I'll piggyback on, on, on the way you were running with this is, dude, the Big 12 did not offer the pressure cooker that they're about to put themselves into. You get a big win, you can get a big win, but next weekend you got to go to Texas A&M. You could beat Alabama, but next weekend you're going to Auburn. It, you, it takes years to get used to that culture of just the conference. They have their own cultures within their own selves. In Texas, the Longhorns is a brand, so are the Sooners. But the pre the week to week pressure cooker of the Ace SEC, they've never seen this before, and that's where you know, um, I, you know, I always thought that you know a twelve and old Clemson team is just the same as a ten and two SEC team. I mean, they got the benefit of the doubt because they had a record. But I never thought in my million years at, at any team, even when Deshaun was there, I never thought that Clemson could run the table in the SEC. I never thought that. Never. So those, those guys who sign up for this pressure cooker, get ready. It's tough. It's tougher than it looks from the outside. Look at Just look at Texas schedule. Colorado State week one. Week two, they play Michigan. <laughs> They play Michigan week two. Week two. I'm, I'm not talking about at home. They're at Michigan. The defending champions, they're at Michigan. UTSA, L.A. Monroe, Mississippi State, they'll be better. They play Oklahoma, you know, at, at a mutual site. They're at home against Georgia. They're on the uh, road against Vanderbilt, Florida, Arkansas, Kentucky, Texas a and At Texas a and <laughs> oh boy let's see what oklahoma got before we end this too right because they they did the sec as well right we see what they got houston week one tulane week two tulane was a very great team last year despite them losing their coach and they got a lot of transfer tulane as a team no that's two out of conference games that are gonna be dog fights 
And they play Tennessee. I think Tennessee will improve. Uh, they'll get better. At Auburn. At Auburn. We'll see how how good Auburn will be. I think that I think they'll they'll improve to be six. Uh, more Absolutely, six, they'll, six. They'll, they'll be they'll be improved. Uh, Oklahoma, of course, against Texas. South Carolina will be improved. Uh, Ole Miss, Ole Miss won eleven games last year. Look, Lane Kiffin's cooking up an Ole Miss. They will be tough. Uh, Maine, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri was a great team last year. No, no, no. They're they're a sleeper, sleeper. But Missouri's I, a sleeper I, in, in the East. Be careful. I pick Missouri. I pick Missouri to be Oklahoma. Missouri's a great team. They're a mm -hmm. great team. Uh, they play Alabama. Alabama, the final two games, Alabama and LSU. Mm. Hey, Paul, these teams are I'm not I'm calling ready. it right now, man. There's no college football playoff for Texas or Oklahoma next year. I agree with you. Yep. But since the last two games, you're playing uh, Alabama and LSU? Oh, Lord. Mm. Texas, you play Michigan week two, and you might lose to Colorado State week one, and then you're at Texas a &M, and you play Georgia? Yeah. Y'all not, not, not ready for that. Y'all not ready for mm -mm. that. See, y'all fans get a little, a little bit cocky. Y'all not ready for that. Yeah, Big Twelve and was it was no defense. It's weak. And, Big Big Twelve was yeah. weak, weak. And and, and, and and since you mentioned that, Paul, uh, I think USC is in what USC is in the um the Big Ten. Big Ten. Looking, I I don't know if this is true, but the media said Lincoln Ross said they're gonna cakewalk the Big Ten. They said the Big Ten gonna be a cakewalk. They go cake. They said the Big Ten is gonna be a cakewalk, Paul. According to Lincoln Riley, it's gonna be a cakewalk. The offense, it's gonna be a cakewalk. But Lincoln Riley can't coach defense. Well, I will tell you what they, what they, the problem they're gonna have. If I see a problem with USC, one is okay, okay. One is you better be able to stop the run because that defense is leaky because people are gonna run it down your throat. Number yeah. two, number two. They run the ball and they play defense in the Big Ten, and it's rugged defense. <laughs> they're gonna yeah. beat you up from week to week. They're gonna beat up your receivers. They're gonna beat up. You're and you're gonna be playing in a phone booth. But y'all want to play high flying and scoring. Be be careful what you say, man, because you you you've got to match the physicality of the Big Ten before mm. you can start talking. Yes, yes. It's gonna be physical, and I'm not just saying against Michigan, Ohio State. Iowa is going to get up in your face and play in a phone booth. It's not going to be comfortable football. And, that and Nebraska. To. Nebraska's going to improve on the Matt Rule. Nebraska's a tough team. And they ain't turned the ball over quarterback situation. Uh, they're Nebraska. all tough. Purdue, yes. I don't want to play Northwestern. They, they're they just – it's a phone booth games. Before we end this, it's a great conversation. Before we end this, we got we got to announce the USC schedule. Week one. LSU, <laughs> LSU week one, week two, Utah State, Utah State did make some noise at Michigan, at Michigan, <laughs> Wisconsin is a great team too, Wisconsin, great team, at Minnesota, you Phone play booth. Penn State, Penn State, Penn State got a great defense, Penn State, I know they lost the defensive coordinator, he became the head coach of Duke. Penn State got a great defense. They play Maryland. Maryland is a great team. Rutgers. Rutgers is always a great physical team. You don't want to play. Food game. Yes. Uh, Washington. Now, I don't know how good Washington going to be um, despite the fall of their, of their coach. Uh, they got the Arizona coach and Jed Fish. Nebraska is going to be tough. UCLA, no Chip Kelly. They got uh, the running backs coach. Deshaun Foster. Deshaun Foster and then Notre Dame. And they got and they, and they, they got they got stopped by Notre Dame. They got they got stopped by Notre Dame last year. All right, Notre all right, all right, all right, all right. Bold statement. What's Will mean? I'll ask you a question. I'll ask you a question. Will Washington, Oregon, UCLA, or USC be in the final twelve? Why, wait, Washington, what's the other three team? 
Washington, Oregon, UCLA, or USC be in the final 12 out of the Big Ten? Maybe two. Give me Oregon. Oregon's going to be in the top 12. Oh. I'm confident with Oregon and Washington in the top 12. I'd be more that confident was- with Oregon and USC. Washington has a whole different – everyone's gone. It's a whole different team. They're going to take a big step back because everyone transferred. A couple guys came with the coach to Alabama. They got that going on. But USC and, and Oregon are only two that have a chance in the new Big Ten to make it. I mean, I see Ohio State and Michigan going back. So they'll have four out of the Big Ten. Yes, I agree. What about the ACC? One. Okay, Florida State. Florida State. Whoever wins the whoever wins the ACC championship. Well, um, as of right now, my preseason pick will be uh, Florida State. SEC, Georgia, uh, Alabama, Ole Miss. This will be three teams, at least three. No. Georgia. Georgia, Alabama, Ole Miss. It, it's gonna be four or five. Okay, so and I Georgia. and I will say this. I will say this. Five for the SEC. Two. Wait. Four. Okay. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Twelve team playoff. Twelve. I'm gonna say four for the SEC. Four from the Big Ten. Two from the Big Twelve. One from the ACC, and one non Power Five. That's twelve. Uh, one one non power five could be Liberty. Liberty could be in there. Yes, yeah, it's gonna uh, be the top ranked non power five, but because the only one's gonna make it. Okay, so if you got four for the Big Ten, four from the SEC, two from the Big Twelve, because Big Twelve is a better conference than ACC. That gives you ten, and then you do ACC and the non power five. That's twelve. ACC should only get one 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 team. The team that wins that the uh the uh. The the ACC tournament, the ACC championship game, because other than that, dude, they they don't their second place team won't be better than the fourth place team in the Big Big Ten or the SEC. I'm sorry, you're not. They're not, and okay, they put just... themselves in that position. And now again, there's a reason why Florida State and Clemson are trying to sue the ACC to get out of there because they should have did it years ago, but they're stuck now in a one bid league. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get out because they because in a one big league in a one bid league, you run the risk of you lose a thing, you're out. You won't get in there. So they're trying to get to the SEC now. Well, it's too late. They should have the the SEC would have happily took Clemson four years ago. I I give you the top twelve before we end this. Give me um this is randomized order. So four from the SEC. Give me Georgia, Alabama. Uh, Ole Miss, LSU. Um, from the Big Twelve, Big Ten, Big Ten, uh, Penn State, Michigan, uh, USC, maybe, yeah, USC, and then one more. Uh, Ohio State, Oregon. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so yeah, you knock, gotta go out, back. knock out, give me Ohio State and Oregon and knock out USC. All right, that's eight. Well, well how eight. about this? Ohio State, Michigan, Oregon, and USC. Because last time I checked, Penn State ain't about nothing. They lose to the same teams every year. Until they prove something to me, keep them out. Okay. Uh, I'll it? take USC and Oregon over Penn State any day until they prove to me they can knock somebody out. Because they even beat, they haven't beat Michigan, Ohio State in like fifty years. It seems like. And he said two from what the big, uh, two from another conference, Big Twelve. Uh, <laughs> who's good oh. in the Big Twelve? Prime time, Deion Sanders. No, 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 no. He's in no. there though. They got a long way to go. Give me an ACC team. Give me a uh, Florida State, and then of course I think. And UNC. No, and then no. the Big 12 champion. There you go. I, get, I think Notre Dame will sign up there. They'll be the final 12 teams. 
Notre Dame. Okay, okay. So one from the Big 12, one from the ACC, Notre Dame, and non-Power 5. Good call. I take that. But, yep. like I said, uh, we can go on and on about this book for three hours. But we got to end it because we got the NCAA tournament. I got the Lakers. You know, I'm a Boston Celtics fan, but, you know, LeBron, you got to get the TV ratings. LeBron James is the What's greatest. The score? It, I think I think uh, the Lakers are up by 10 right now. Lakers are up by yeah. 10. Yep. Lakers, halftime, Lakers up by 10. And then, of course, I'm going I'm to stay – I'm going to watch close to that Golden State uh, – Golden State uh, uh Sacramento game, Steph Curry. I'm very gonna pay attention close to that. But we're gonna win, you. dude. The, the, the fix is in. The fix take is the, in. Take the take the Warriors and the points. The fix is in. We thank you to all the fans who watch the Total Post Sports. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. We are three K away from 125K subscribers. We reached 122K subscribers. We want to thank you. We will be back tomorrow. Maybe same time or at 9 o'clock. We will be back and we'll give you the best content in the world. Peace out. Adios. Y'all have a great night.